Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Sins of Daisy. When we left off, we finished episode one and we put the mom behind bars. Now, you guys did have a very interesting theory that uh, Quinn kept talking about himself, so maybe he's the killer. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but uh, we need to see what's going on here. Good work, Quinn. I had my suspicion about Anne, but I can't believe Dan was involved too. I'm glad you found this diary. This evidence is crucial to building a case against these two. Anne and Dan, Dan and Anne, <laughs> are going to be arraigned in court today. I'll let you know when it starts. I would love to talk more about this, but I have to take care of something. In the meantime, you could either hang out here or go sightseeing in this wonderful town. If you're going sightseeing, you should go to the high school graduation. Yeah, if you're just wandering around town, why don't you just stop by a high school graduation? That sounds completely normal. It's located on the fifth floor of the high school. I wish I could attend, but I have some police matters that I need to handle. Talk to you later. I need to go to this graduation. One of the students there might know something about the girl's death. Uh, yeah, let's go to graduation. Sounds wonderful. What do we got here? Police tip. Unnecessary force is a myth. Uh, I will whoop your butt if you think even think about resisting. Enjoy your whoop. I mean, enjoy your day, anonymous cop. Okay. Remember, if you're anybody else decides to call 911, there's a 98% probability that somebody's going to jail. Have a nice day. Anonymous cop is sassy. Okay, so who do we have here? We've got the mom. She doesn't want to talk to me. Of course. I'm innocent. You have to believe me. If you're innocent like you say, you have nothing to worry about. Have faith in the justice system. The same system that put me behind these bars? I can't. Who are you? I can't believe I was arrested for playing loud music. Are you still playing it? It's not loud, but somebody's playing music. Where's anonymous police tip number one? Oh, it's a riddle. Do you want to read it? Yes. I click when we meet. I hold on to you tight. I can handle any man regardless of might. What am I? Straight jacket. Why was that my first thought? I have no idea. Do they click? Anybody out there in the uh, in the community been in the straight jacket before? You don't need to answer that. It's okay. We don't judge here, but you don't have to answer that. Okay. What are you? How's the case going? You got any leads or evidence? I'd rather not say just yet because the investigation's still pending. I understand. Good luck with the case. Thanks, Detective Jones. You need permission from Birch to access this area. Detective Rourke. Okay, hi. Was that Mr. Winters in handcuffs? He's the last person I would expect to go to jail. I wonder what he did. I'm curious. All right, nosy pants. Uh, who are you voting for? Really? Um, I mean, really? Can I just back out? Nope, I'm, all right, I'm not even gonna look. I'm, I'm not, see? Look, I'm making 100% eye contact here. Boom, I don't even know who I picked. You un-American piece of garbage. Uh, which hand do you want to be slapped with, left or right? I don't know what I picked. I would even it out with the other one, but I really don't know what I picked. Cool. Remember how I did this game before? Yeah, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna close my eyes. I can't even see you guys anymore. Boom. Excellent pick. I, I, I guess so? I don't know. Uh, shoot first and then ask questions later. Which one of you guys wrote this anonymous cop? That sounds terrible. I just overheard one of the cops saying three girls might have been killed. Oh, it's not a might have. They definitely were. How can somebody commit such a heinous act? What's the world coming to? If only I could solve that riddle. Okay, so we need to go to graduation apparently. Oh, okay. Am I walking? Please tell me this isn't the high school, like, right in front of the police building. What's this? The door is locked. Of course it is. Um, that one just doesn't have a door. So, I guess I'm not gonna be going that way. Um, this looks like a high school. You know, with the martini glasses and the- Oh, I can go in here. The bar, hi. Want a drink? No. Maybe later. I'm on the job. What kind of bar has a two drink minimum? I'm not even buzzed. Okay. Want to play a game? No. <laughs> uh, sure. What? Choose. Orb zone or escape the maze? 
Orb zone sounds good. What the heck is this? Choose the right orb, you only get one chance. What? Yeah, sure. I lose. Well, that was fun. What's the other game? Escape the maze? Okay, escape before time runs out. Got it. Does this help me in any way whatsoever? Probably not. Oh, there's the exit. Okay. I just need to go back this way. And I think up here... We good? We're good. I did it! I did a thing! It didn't help me at all. Okay. I need another drink! Yes, you do, and more hair. Can you drive me to graduation? I'm in no condition to drive. No, you're on your own, buddy. I hope my son doesn't get too mad at me for missing graduation. Why are you at the bar at, like, noon? I mean, the sun is high up in the sky. All right, whatever. The door's locked. I have no idea where this high school is. I am hoping it's somewhere close. Oh, Foxwood Street. Hello. Do you know him? What do you know about him? Do you know Daisy? Him is so great. Tell me everything you know about him. This is important. Him saved me. What is him name? Yes, tell me. I'm talking about Jesus. He saved me. Sir, are you aware that I can have you arrested for loitering? You just try, uh, you just try because him will save me again. You just earned yourself a 5 to 10 after I solved this case. What is a 5 to 10? I'm gonna whoop your butt from 5 to 10 minutes. Just wait here, I'll be back. This dude's a jerk. I don't like being him. Hello, Colonel. <laughs> Oh, you're like a wolf man. Have you been reading the police blah, blah, blah. Have you been reading the police tips? Yes, I have. Good, good. We take the law very seriously around here. So, uh, who you vote? Oh my god. Yeah, seriously, not this crap again. Everybody's so nosy. This grocery store sucks. I guess. I need to hurry. I'm going to miss the graduation. You don't know that for sure. Sir, this isn't Target. Oh my god. Really? You need to use the rest of on the left-hand side. Talk about topical. Hello. Okay. This is the most important tip of all. I win, you lose. Any questions? This game is, uh... Yeah, it's quite a topical. To say the least. Oh my god. Hope it doesn't ruffle any feathers. If anything, I think it's all in jest, but... I'm just gonna say it's all in jest. Garbage can! Thank you, Captain Obvious. Where... Where... Where is the school? I really have no idea. Cause, I mean, it's only two blocks big, this entire town, right? So it's gotta be around here somewhere? Can I go this way? Oh! Was that Daisy? It can't be. Oh, but it can, let's follow her. Oh. Hi! I'm gonna go back this way real quick. We can't miss any clues. We can't overlook anything, okay? That could have been a ruse. What do we got? Cars? Any killer cars here? Probably not. Everybody parked very nicely. No double parking. That's nice. Okay, I don't see anything. Anyone or anything. Need to hurry. Okay, fine. We'll go to the graduation. Um, I love the, uh, lawn arrangements. Have you seen my parents? I can't believe they're gonna be late for graduation. Uh, is your dad at the bar? Perhaps? Trash can. And nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. Okay, that's fine. Last time we got to investigate a murder scene, so I mean, I guess I can't be too picky. There's just nothing else here for me. Let's go inside. Fifth floor, right? Uh, ma'am, you, you just left papers all over the ground. Descramble the letters. Okay. Mantu Urkel. Which is what? I don't know. Locker? Something locker? I don't know what locker. Um. Oh, I feel like it should be right there and I'm just missing it. M Mountu. <laughs> of course. What word has two U's in it? 
Um, I have no idea. I know it says locker. I just don't know whose, but maybe we can find different ones. You better hurry, the graduation's gonna start any minute. Where'd she go? Who? Daisy Winters. I think you're mistaken, sir. Daisy Winters passed away two days ago. That was her. I just know it. Foxwood High School graduation. Okay, key speaker. Okay, nothing interesting there. I need to find some lockers. Are there any lockers around here? Okay, I don't care if you're gonna miss the graduation. Leslie Falls Locker, open it. Sure, oh, no. Let's save. Let's save before we uh, break into somebody's locker. Yeah. <laughs> Locker's empty. Okay, never mind then. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Anything with the calendars? Nothing? Okay, maybe the ones with the pieces of paper are the only ones I can open. Rose. Eh, it's probably empty. Come on, give me a break. Yeah, seriously, right? Daisy, it's locked. Find a way to open. The choice you're about to make will alter the storyline. Break into the locker. No. I'll find another way to access the locker. We, we shouldn't break into it. Even if I broke into everybody else's. Oh. I feel like it's gonna take us straight to the fifth floor. Can I go in the women's restroom? Better not. Pat McCrory HB2 Bill might get mad at me. That one went over my head, I'm sorry. It completely went over my head. Okay, I really wish I knew what it said. Can I use this? Computer! Ah! Uh, okay. I don't know. I guess I need to go up. I guess I gotta go up. Okay, we're at the second floor. Oh, so we gotta go up to the fifth floor? This floor has nothing. Printer. Okay, you're just gonna say what I see. Anything in the garbage can? No. I need some more lockers. Or maybe there's a clue here on how to open her locker. But no, he said he has to go to the graduation, so I think we've missed that opportunity. I didn't want to break into her locker because if we're trying to solve that case, I think that it's gonna hinder our progress by breaking into it. Although I opened all the other ones. Okay, anything here? Anything here? Books? Oh, there's something on the other side. Let's try that. You. You right here. What do you got for me? Nothing? Aw, oh, come on. I thought it was gonna be something for sure. There's papers everywhere. Except in the trash can. Everywhere besides that. Anything here? No. Are you gonna do that HB2 thing again? Yep, okay. No idea what it means. Still have no idea. Third floor. Oh, I feel like there's all these and they're just like waiting. They've got secrets in them. They just can't figure them out. Maybe there's not. Maybe you just check every single thing and there's nothing there. There's a vending machine. I'm looking for another locker, really. But I don't... How do you even get in there? Wait, this room here, it's like entirely walled off. How would you even make it in there? Hello? Okay. Apparently you have to vault over the counter if you want to get some fruit or anything. That's just weird. This high school is weird. Alright, so we're on the third floor, so we got two more floors left. The library, never mind. Well, yeah, I mean, it could still be the fifth floor. The fifth floor is the fifth floor, right? Anything in here? You're just gonna tell me books. You can tell me books for every single thing that I look at. Dude, you gotta come up with some better commentary with your life, man. I mean, it's, just, it's a library. There's gonna be books. Phone! And a phone, apparently. Okay, laptop, computer, printer books and I don't see another single locker anywhere I'm still trying to figure out what that word was that was scrambled I'm sure you guys will be able to tell me in the comment section but uh I didn't want to use like a descrambler and apparently my brain isn't smart enough for that so I knew it said locker though so you can give me a little bit of credit right okay more computers anybody like logged in by accident no there's just stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. 
This this whole school is just stuff. All right, fifth floor. Graduation starts in six minutes. Talk to the parents while you wait for graduation to start. If you catch uh, playing loud music, if the artist isn't can lodge, you have a bad time. Got it. I don't care. I only have six minutes here. We got a speed walk. We got a speed read. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Please break the rules so I can break your face. Don't care. Anonymous cop is a big fat jerk. High school diplomas. Hello, everybody. Um, I don't see a locker in here either. My husband's not gonna be here because he's in jail. He forgot he got arrested for loud music. You can be an idiot sometimes. That principal over there is a good looking uh, woman. Do you think I got a chance? I'm old, but I got experience. <sighs> sure, buddy. Maybe. You never know. She might be an old guy. No, this is old age fool. Well, I mean, I don't even know how old the principal is. Jiggy. Yep, got it. Oh, my battery doesn't run out on my camera. I want to take lots of photos. Photogenic dad. Okay, proud mom. So happy with my son. Okay, where are the other parents? There's twice as many students as parents. Bunch of deadbeat parents. Got it. I need to use the bathroom, but I don't want to miss graduation speech. Somebody's dad. Wish my husband would sit still and be quiet. Okay, my son's graduating with the honors. Good for you. Got to decide me is acting weird. He keeps asking me personal questions about my daughter. Uh, you know what I love about graduation, creepy dad. What? High school girls. Sir, do I need to remind you that the age of consent laws in the state? You call me a pervert? Yeah, pretty much. How dare you? I'm no such thing. I would never harm a child. If I catch you looking at any of these girls, I'm taking you to jail. Take those glasses off so you can see where your eyes are looking. Can't. These are prescription glasses. I need these to see and stuff. You familiar with police tip number two? Okay, I'll stop. Really? I'm bored. Bored mom. I'm gonna give my grandson a huge hug after he graduates. Good for you, Granny. My eyes are paranoid, okay? I heard there's gonna be a graduation party. Do you know where it's gonna be located? No, I don't. I don't know the location. See? He doesn't either. Daughters had her heart setting set on attending Clemson University, but I wanna break her heart, but we don't have the money to afford that kind of tuition. I think it'd be best if she attended community college and then reevaluate her options. Okay, sounds slightly logical. Why are there two different sets of diplomas? These kids grow up so fast. I'm proud of my son. Where's Dan and Anne? They uh, they said they'd be here for the graduation. Rose and Liz's parents are grieving, so I didn't expect them to come. Now I'm thinking about I need to talk to Rose and Liz's parents. I need to make that my next priority. I don't know where they are. I just spoke with everybody. Ooh, pizza. That's it? That's all you got? Okay, fine. Hello there, children. Kenny Loggins is the best. I plan on going to the university. How much tuition? Ah, it's gonna be expensive. You need to save money. It's not like my mom. I'm gonna go to Clemson one way or another. Okay. Never liked Rachel to be honest. She's a terrible principal. Got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to speed read these. I'm gonna get wrecked at the party tonight. Are you going? No. What? Dude, everybody's gonna be there. Don't care. Kenny Loggins sucks. Don't tell anyone I said that. Okay. You're gonna go to graduation? Oh, wait. You're not a student. Never mind. Uh, where are the cheers for the students? This is not the way you treat a student who's graduating. Graduation is finally here. I'm getting laid tonight. Okay, make sure you practice safe sex. I do. I, well, okay. I hope to God that you're sterile. We don't need any more idiots breeding like rabbits. Dude, the method never fails. Yeah, it never fails. And how are you conceived? Ah, it's a low blow, man. Not cool. True that. Okay. Pizza looks good. It sure does. Smells like french fries. Okay. Dumb kids diplomas on the left. Smart kids diplomas on the right. Okay, you're excited. First person graduate in high school is not amazing. For, uh, some it's an amazing feat. For others, it's expected. Why'd you gotta be so negative? I don't know. Don't see my parents anywhere. I'm sorry. Uh, aren't you a little old to be graduating? I'm not a student. Don't lie to me. You're one of those great retention students. After talking to some of your classmates, I'm not surprised. That you'd think I was forced to repeat a grade. I knew it. No, you're clueless like some of your peers. <laughs> As if. Okay. Grandpa's a pervert. Can't take him anywhere. He always finds a way to embarrass me. Alrighty. You miss Leslie. Oh. Did you know Leslie? Yeah, we were friends. What else do you know about her? She was a very nice person who could put a smile on anyone's face. Why did she commit suicide? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, I really don't know much about what happened. It's become taboo to talk around this town about the girl's death. Why is that? I don't know. It's like people are trying to forget the whole issue ever happened. Is there anything else you can tell me? No, I don't know anything else but someone else who might. Her name's Autumn. She's around here somewhere. Talk to her. Oh, God. Autumn! Where are you, girl? Um, I can't believe I didn't get valedictorian. Victorian. Come on. It's got to be around here somewhere. Start your own business. Wish Daisy were here. Aha! Did you know Daisy? Yeah, she was really popular. We weren't best friends, but we hung out a few times. Can't believe she died like that. What do you know about her death? 
Not much, it wasn't like a suicide pact or something. I still don't know the details. Something like that. Can imagine your parents must be going through. Tell me about it, okay? What are, what are you? Graduation's finally here. That's it. Okay, I, I talked to everybody. I spoke with everyone in this entire freaking room. Except the mirror. Oh, okay, I can't talk to the mirror. Well? This mirror? No. I don't know what else we can really do. I really wish I could figure out the locker thing, but we tried all the lockers. Didn't we? I don't know. Did I miss something? I have 30 seconds to figure out if I missed something. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, maybe I can talk to you again? Anything else? Life sometimes sucks, huh? Life is tough, but you probably have more good days than bad days. Trust me, it'll get better. Thanks. Okay, let me talk to the other girl again. Uh, 14 seconds. It was you. Or, I, I know. I think I talked to Autumn. I think I did. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. But I have four seconds, and it's going to be too late for that. Oh, yeah, you. I, I forgot about you. Got it. Please take your seats. Uh, that's the principal? Oh, uh, dude, I'm sorry, but no, you don't. Okay, in closing, remember that this graduation is a brand new start. You seniors have officially graduated. Now there's one more thing that I want you to do. I want you guys to work hard and have successful careers. Spend your time creating the life you want, and if you ever get stuck, just remember. The secret to getting ahead in life is to get started. Congratulations, class of 2016. I don't think that was the principal. Find Autumn. Okay, are you Autumn? Yes, what do you want? I need to talk to you about Leslie Falls, Rose Winter, uh, Rose Summers, and Daisy Winters. Ugh, okay. Oh, Autumn. Yeah, she's one of the seasons. Hmm, not this again. I told Birch and his detectives everything I know. Listen, I don't work for Birch. I'm a private investigator. If anything, Birch is working for me. You should have heard him, begging me to help him. It was almost pathetic. So you don't work for Birch? No. How do I know I can trust you? You don't, but you need to make a decision on whether you're going to help find your friend's killer or let the killer get away with murder. Killer? I knew it! I knew my friends wouldn't commit suicide. Tell me what you know about the girls. Daisy was having some kind of problems at home. She didn't really talk about it too much. All I know is that she hated going home every day and that she was planning on moving out of her house into an apartment. What about Rose and Leslie? Rose and Leslie were going to move with Daisy to help with the costs. I think they were planning on being roommates. I feel like you're hiding something from me. You have to tell me everything. I can't find the killer unless you help me. I don't know what you mean. I told you everything. I don't believe you. Do you know what uh, that Daisy had a secret diary? How do you know about that? I'm only going to ask one more time. Tell me everything you know. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't trust the cops and detectives in this town. Yeah, with all the notes flying around, I wouldn't either. Listen, Daisy kept a secret diary in her locker. Another diary? Dan was telling the truth. She had the diary there for safekeeping. Daisy gave me a spare key to the locker just in case something happened to her. Everything you need to know was in that locker. How do you know all this? I don't have time to explain. We have to hurry because the school's closing. Let's go. Ah, I bet you if I broke it open, we wouldn't be able to open it now. Daisy went to his locker. Oh, yes. What's going on in here? There's nothing in this locker. You said the diary was in here, Autumn. It was right here, I promise. Nobody else has the key to this locker but Daisy and I. What now? Just a second, Autumn. I have to take this call. Hello? Hey, Quinn. You got a minute? This is not a good time, Birch. I'm on the verge of solving this case. We'll have some bad news. Anne was set free and Dean's being charged with the murders of the girls. What? The prosecutor failed us an open and shut case. He believes Dan killed the girls and that Anne is innocent. This can't be happening. I'm so close to solving this case. Hold on. You said Anne was released, right? When did the judge release her from custody? Just a few minutes ago. I think it was sometime around the graduation ceremony when it was happening. Autumn, you're wrong. Someone else does have a key to the locker besides you and Daisy. Anne. Where did you put it? Stupid little girl. I'm gonna find it. It's around here somewhere. Found it. Oh! Oh! Okay! Anne. Did you say Anne? Are you talking about Anne Winters? Quinn, who are you talking to? Nobody. 
Hey, Birch, did you show the entire diary to the prosecutor? Of course. I presented all the evidence to him. All five pages of the diary. There were six pages to the diary, Birch. Not five. Quinn, you only gave me five pages. Birch, would you listen to me? There were six pages. The diary's right here in front of me. I have a count of five pages. Stop worrying about the diary, Quinn, because we've got other issues we need to address. Other issues? Anna's filed a temporary restraining order against you because of how you conducted your investigation. She said you roughed her up during- No, I didn't! She said I did what? I'm asking you to leave her alone until this case is over. I will handle this case from now on. Birch, Anna's- Wait a second. Anna's what? Hello? Are you still there? Don't worry about it. I'll stay away from Anne. Birch, I gotta go. Bye. Listen to me, Autumn. Stay away from the detectives in this town and avoid Anne at all costs. Why? What happened? Tell me what's going on. I don't have time to explain. Just do what I tell you. You have to talk to Dan before it's too late. Okay. Things are getting very interesting. Um, so obviously I'm not going to be making all the right choices. I'm going by my instinct here. I think it was good that we didn't break the locker, but at the same time, if we did, then maybe Anne wouldn't have been able to access it. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here and we'll do episode three in the next time, in the next episode for next time. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's go. Suicide pact, huh? That's not those three girls harmonizing, is it? I'm guessing not. Oh, the Mort. Okay. Oh, is this me? Oh, look at me in my suit. I'm a dashing gentleman. Thanks for coming, Quinn. I really need your help with this case. Those three girls. Three girls? Are you talking about the girls who died yesterday? Yeah. I don't believe those girls committed suicide.